tis the season, folks. And got my bottle of aspirin by my left hand here and fresh pot of coffee brewing in the kitchen. And you know, everybody's going to be expecting snowflakes of some kind. And I'm going to show you an easy way to make snowflakes in motion, of all things. Photoshop doesn't really have the tools to make this an easy process, so, and Motion, quite frankly, does. This should work in just about any version of Motion that ever came out. So if you got one sitting around and you want to make some original snowflake designs, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to start with just a plain project. And it almost doesn't matter what you do. So I'm going to make sure I'm drawing in white, okay? going to draw a line and I'm going to draw a circle hold down the shift key and I'll use the Bezier tool and I'm going to draw kind of a pointy triangle and it really doesn't matter what you do I mean you know you can just drag shapes out of the library if you want to now all I'm going to do is go to the group here and then go down to these effects, tiling, kaleidoscope. Go ahead and switch this to a 3D group. Okay, now get my bezier. Let's draw it in here somewhere. Uh, my circle. And my line. Let's get them going. And and just maneuver these around till you get something that you really like. That's not too bad. And then you can go to share or export in older versions. And you want to save the current frame. You want to save it as a PNG image. And got a bunch of them already, so I'll just add this one to my list. Okay. Now, once you get a good arrangement of snowflakes, you can go and start a new project. I don't want this one. I'll just do this one for convenience. Find all your snowflake patterns. And import them. With them all selected like this, turn them into an emitter and let's make some quick changes here let's turn the birth rate down to oh let's turn the initial number down to zero uh, the birth rate down to something a little more comfortable change this to a line um, going to edit this start point off the screen one way doesn't matter you can spread them out pretty good and about the same distance off the screen the other way set that to 3d um, turn off face camera I don't want them to face the camera all the time what are we doing Okay, let's scale these down. I'm going to turn these down to zero. I'm going to move the line, the emitter up to over the screen like this. I'm going to add a simulation, gravity. Gonna crank it up. And for each one of these, I think I want to add a 
spin behavior. Turn this down to custom. Just dial in something. Let's get some spin going. There we go. Now I'm going to want to change the parameters just a little bit for each one of these, but you can go ahead and option drag and copy these onto each one of the snowflakes. That was the one I just built and some of these that I built yesterday. There you go. How to build your own snowflakes in motion. Now that motion is just basically 50 bucks, it's a pretty cool little application to get. Everybody who does any video editing with Final Cut Pro 10 really, really, really ought to have this application. It drives me crazy every once in a while because I think I know about three or four dozen different ways of crashing this application. It needs to be stabilized a little bit, but for a whole lot of stuff, I mean, really, this is an excellent application to have, and the price is right. It's just really no excuse not to have it, and it'll only get better. So, hope you find this helpful, and enjoy the season, if you can, <laughs> and I will catch you on the next one.